Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circles. In the circle with center O, the chords KL and PQ are each of length 8 cm. So we can see that the length of the two chords KL and PQ are the same which is 8 cm. M is the midpoint of KL. So we can see that there is a point M on KL and it is the midpoint which means it's going to divide the line KL into two equal halves. So it's going to be 4 cm over here, KM is 4 cm and ML is also going to be 4 cm. And R is the midpoint of PQ. So R is the midpoint of the line PQ which means again it's going to divide the line PQ into two equal halves. So it's going to be 4 cm over here and 4 cm over here. And OM is given as 3 cm. They want us to find out the length of OK. So we have to find out the length of the line OK. To find that out, let us consider the right angle triangle OM, K and back to O. Now this resembles a right angled triangle because OM is going to be perpendicular to KL as M is the midpoint and the midpoint connecting to the center makes a right angle with the chord. So taking this into consideration, let me draw it separately over here. So we have to find out the value of OK and OM is given as 3 cm and KM is given as 4 cm. So to solve this we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem which is given as the hypotenuse square so OK square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two legs of the right angle triangle. So it's going to be 3 square plus 4 square. So O k is equal to now the square goes on the other side and it becomes the square root of 9 plus 16 so the square root of 25 which is nothing but 5 centimeters so we got the value of ok or the length of ok as 5 centimeters now let us look at the part b of this question RM has a length of 5.5 cm. Calculate angle ROM. So they want us to find the angle ROM which is over here. Now let us consider the triangle ROM to find out the angle ROM. Now we can see that the length of OR is also going to be 3 cm because KL and PQ are two chords which are having the same length and if they have the same length they are going to be equidistant from the center of the circle. Now we have got all the three sides of the triangle ROM. We can use the cosine rule to find out the angle ROM. So let me write down the cosine rule. The side opposite to the angle O is 5.5 cm hence we write it as 5.5 square is equal to the sum of the rest two side squares so it is 3 square plus 3 square minus 2 times the other two sides multiplied together 3 times 3 times cos of the missing angle so cos of angle rom so angle rom so let us rearrange this for finding the cos of angle ROM. So it becomes 5.5 square minus 3 square minus 3 square is equal to minus 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 times 3 is 18 cos of angle ROM. So to find out cos of angle ROM we write it as 5.5 square minus 3 square is 9 minus 9 over we will get this negative 18 on the other side so it divides the numerator so let's see how much we get over here this is 5.5 square 
minus 9 minus 9 because it's divided by negative 18. So we get it as minus 0 0.6805 recurring. So let me write it minus 0 0.6805 recurring. So I'll just round it off as 0 0.681. So this is the cos of angle ROM. So to find out the angle ROM, we are going to take the inverse of this angle. So equals arc cos or cos inverse of negative 0 0.681. So let us find out how much we get. So this is cos inverse of negative 0.681. That gives us 132.92 so 132.92 degrees or we can simply round it off as 133 degrees so this is how we had to find out the angle ROM hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching